Today we're taking a preview of Baltic Dragon's upcoming campaign, made in conjunction with the Fighter Pilot Podcast and Kevin Miller, author of the Raven 1 book series. This will be a 15 mission campaign using mission cards, code words and plenty of writing, with comms fully voice acted in missions and some unique solutions to improve the Wingman AI and even some limited save game functionality is promised for longer missions. Let's jump over to the game. Welcome to the USS Valley Forge, a fictional US Nimitz class carrier on which the Raven 1 series of books are set. Today we're doing mission 4 and we'll be going out today patrolling the Gulf. We're going to be looking for ships and ensuring that they are safe. Iranians have been going out and essentially intercepting them so we need to keep tabs on what's happening. We're armed with a pair of aim lines, single maverick, in a single cluster bomb we also have two fuel tanks and a targeting pod. We're going up in two flights, if I turn on the icons. So we've got Raven Flight 1, which are Raven 1-1 one, one Blade and Raven 1-2 one, Psycho. A pair of those will be providing top cover and you may just recognise some of their names. We also have in Raven 2, myself in Raven 2-1, and Weed in Raven 2-2. Two, two. Right, so I'm going to start getting my aircraft set up and running, and I'll see you in a moment. Alright, so we are set up. I need to do the radio check, so we'll press spacebar. Raven check on Pride, Raven 2 1. Raven 2 2. Raven check on Fox, Raven 2 1. Raven 2 2. 2, go blue 3, on COM 1. Blue 3 is free. Raven 2 2. Looks like is about to take off. And off she goes. Right, two is just getting into the side up, so I need to get my chocks out. Ground crew. Ground crew chocks. Chocks and Chief, remove. Remove the wheel chocks. Copy. I'll switch off the wheel parking brake. Last jack. Have to go. Steering high. Let's taxi out to Cat 1. Let's extend our wings. Come right. Going left. I'll make your mind up, mate. And stop. There goes the whole back bar. Extend the launch bar. We'll lock in our wings. So the flaps. Let's come forward. There's the shuttle. A little more power. We should just push over it nicely. There we go. And we should be set more or less. Raise the launch bar. I think we're good to go, so run them up. Checking control surfaces. Looking good. And salute. Gear up. Laps up. He's off the power. Did I set my Tacan? Tacan is on. Alright, so we shall head out onto our mission area. Raven 1-1, one, one, 
one strike negative. Wizards on station as fragged. Sunrise. So it sounds like Raven 1 are up and about now. Ready and patrolling. And 2 has not joined me just yet. But uh, we'll see him in a bit. Alright, we are joined now by 2. We're just approaching waypoint 2 where we will begin our search. Now this campaign does something a little different. That is not your typical DCS AI wingman. He's not part of my flight technically. He is in fact a independent aircraft, and we can give orders to him via the radio menu and spacebar commands. So we now know on station, so I'm going to report that we are on station with spacebar. Wizard, Raven 2-1 on station, ready for tasking. Raven 2-1, Wizard, stand by. Raven 2-1. Raven 2 1 copies, Freelance Mothers 050 to 080, 80 miles out. Raven 2 2, Roger. Freelance Mothers 330, 360, 100 miles out. Ravens, good feedback. Picture clean. Alright, so we've got our orders. I'm going to press, yep, space file. And we'll send Weed off to do his patrol area. Raven 2-2, lead. Clear to detach. Freelance your assigned zone. Raven 2-2. And off he goes. Alright, so we need to worry about our mission, so... It's a bit dark on that display, actually. I'm going to switch over to this one. So we've got here the island of Rock, as we're calling it. Where is it? Out there. And over here at waypoints 3 and 4 we've got two uh, sort of upper limits to our patrol zone. We've got an island up here and an island up here which have short range air defences we want to avoid. Our patrol zone is in this general area here, whilst 2 is out in this area, as per the briefing image. So as he goes off and does his patrol, I'm going to start searching for ships in my area, so I'm going to go to FLIR. We'll set it as soy, and we will set it to velocity vector. Let's see if we can't find some of these ships. There we go, there's our first ship. Right under the nose. Let's bring it down, come down and inspect them. I'm going to quickly put my pod onto them. So I'll put the velocity vector over them. Tag. We have... A, I think that was a matchbox, a, a cargo container ship. So let's come down, say hello, and see what's going on. So as we come down, I spotted a second ship off to the left. We've also got a third one out in front of us, so I'm going to unslave the pod, take it back to the velocity vector. As we fly by this guy, I'm going to tag this third ship. Wizard! Raven 2-1 is marking on top of Matchbox, 260, speed 11. Raven 2-1, Wizard, Matchbox, four up, four up. 260, speed 11. And now we're going to go round to the one we spotted just over here. And I'm using my targeting pod to record where the other ship was so I can find him again nice and quickly. So I'll just bring it round. In a little bit of altitude, we did get a little low there and we'll patrol this next one here as well. Got a flight of something going out there. Let's see with two aircraft or an aircraft with two engines. Right, so what we got here, we've got... It's like another matchbox, another cargo container I think. Yep, container ship. Marking on top of Matchbox. 315, speed 7. Raven 2-1, Wizard copies. Matchbox, 
Okay, now let's go find the one on our targeting pod. So that's our mark, and on the left I expect is the ship. Or is that yet another one? Let's have a look. Yeah, so that is the ship from that mark. So he has moved on quite a lot, it's going quite fast. So let's re-slave and tag. We have another cargo ship. Let's go fly past him and inspect him and find the next one after that. Which talk of the devil? Right there. So let's chop over there quickly. Because he's a bit hard to spot. And tag. And back over to the first guy. Now we'll do our flyby. So that's matchbox number three. We'll come round to number four. I think this was a different type of ship, but we'll have to go have a look. So let's see if we can reacquire it. So it's moved on from the mark. There it is. That looks like it could be another contender ship, or maybe it's a tanker. Let's have a closer look. So in the pod back, tag. And it is a, a tanker, I think. Being a little bit faster. Let's pass behind him. You can see out there some of the oil field. I think there's oil rigs out there. And a big tanker as well. If I remember rightly, this was tabletop. Wizard, Raven 2 1. Mark on top of tabletop. 1 2 5, speed 50. Oh, come on, two. I've done what? Four? Five? That's your first. Alright, well, let's see if we can find any more. Hello? Got another small ship here. Set up the pod. Velocity vector. Tag. And that is a cruise ship of some sort. Alright, let's intercept them. Got another ship on the horizon, that looks like a tanker. Quite a big one too. And then there's another tanker over there as well. Let's come down and say hello to these guys. Putting on a lot of mini air shows today. So that one's classified as a bruiser. Right, let's take it over here to this tanker. Again, we'll slave the pod back. Enable velocity vector slave. And... Attack. We've got... A fairly hefty looking tanker. And we are 25 miles out from him, so we'll head over to him. All right, so we've got something happening. We received a distress call from a British tabletop that's been stopped by fast movers with troops preparing to come aboard. Raven 2-1, locate the tabletop and report back. Raven 1-1 one one will provide cover. Australia, Raven 1-1, one one, roger. 
Raven 2-1, Wilco. Request location of the tabletop. I'm the independent banker. Raven 2-1 strike. Tabletop reports their GPS is bent. They're unable to send their position. Wizard's working on it. Stand by. Right. Raven 2-1. Raven 2-2. Raven 2-1. Saddle. Tabletop's GPS went Tango Uniform. Wizard is trying to find them. Roger. On my way. Right, okay, so looks like we're gonna get some action today. British tanker been intercepted. I don't really know if I wanna bother chasing this tanker, he looks fine. There we go. Send it for Raven 2-1. Zero zero eight for forty. Skunk. Rock zero zero eight four zero. Wilco. Weed. Proceed directly to Rock zero zero eight four zero. Let me know when you have a visual. Raven two two. That sounds. Like they're using the rock as a bullseye, so I'm gonna set that up. We set it as our bullseye waypoint. So that's our supporting Raven 1 flight going up to the barrier cap for us. Keep us safe while we do the inspection of this ship. Now I've put on Bullseye as a rock, a waypoint on rock. Now we're going to point ourselves north of rock and we're going to try and locate this tanker. So I stick myself north, a little further actually, so not over it directly. Set up a uh, autopilot. That's Jude Hulk will do. Alright, so let's see where we are. Got our cursor with our bullseye location here. We want 40 and 8 degrees, so there's 9 degrees, and we'll go out all the way to 40. So that's 40 miles, go back to 8 degrees. So about here is where we can expect to see our target. I can just fine tune it, just gets a little fiddly when you want individual degrees. And down. Right, now targeting pod, where is it? Let's get our targeting pod back up. into snowplow and I'm going to bring it out zoom it out so we can slew faster and we're going to put the targeting pod roughly into that area and see if we can't spot them alright so there's our tanker and that looks like three patrol boats let's turn ourselves over and fly towards them Raven 2-1, visual on tabletop, Rock 00840, DIW. Three armed fast movers holding position 100 meters east. Raven 2-1, Wizard, they are above the tabletop, contact strike when on station. 2, anchor at Angels 14. I'm sure Mother will want a running commentary, take care of that on Blue 3. Go Red 1 on Com 2. So now we need to be on blue 3. So, com 1, what is blue 3? Blue 3 is channel 2 on that, that's the wrong radio. 
Blue 3 is channel 3. Red 1 was channel... channel 4. Copies. Contacting strike. So we'll fly on over and get on station. Alright, we are now passing over the tanker and its pursuers. We're going to report that we are on the station at Tabletop. Strike. Raven 2-1 in flight is on station above Tabletop. Rook 0840. Any words? Raven 2-1 strike, we're in radio contact with the crew at Tabletop. They are DIW, undergoing repairs. Should be able to move out in about 20 mics. Do all you can to keep their deck clean. Raven 2-1 copies, recommend show of force. Raven 2-1 strike, show of force authorized. Roger that. Raven 2-2 will take over the radio and will provide you with updates. Strike copies, Raven 2-2. Keep us posted. Strike, Raven 2-2, Wilco. Alright. So we're going to get down there and do a show of force. Let's just get myself set up and you will see me in a moment. Alright, we are coming in for our show of force. Just going to set ourselves up nice and low and fast. You can see the boats there now next to the tanker. Haven't done anything, they haven't moved, have they? Oh yeah. Yep. Strike copies, another run authorized with warning shot along their position. Use 20 mic mic. Alright, okay. Copies, show of force with a warning shot. 20 Mike Mike, east of the fast movers. Right, okay, we have to do some gun runs. Let's bring it round again, let's get set up on this nice and quick. See if this doesn't scare them off. So us set us back up. And switch to air to ground, master arm, gun selected. Set up so we make sure we don't hit anyone with shrapnel. There we go. Ready any second now. Let's drop it down. We'll put some shots just over here. Let's see if that wakes them up. Yep. Yeah, they didn't like that. Raven 2 1 strike, ROE is weapons hold. Raven 2 1 copies. They are making a run for it. Strike copies, remain on station. Alright, we just need to keep an eye on the ship. Looks like we've scared them off for today. Those little boats are the devil's job to spot. I've already lost them. Never mind. We'll just keep an eye on the tabletop. And our British friends down there. So they are on their way back home. Rock 
What's the flashlight? A flashlight is... A helicopter. Okay. So we've got two helicopters tracking west from Rice, which means they're going directly toward the tanker, because the tanker is west from Rice. Yeah, they're definitely making their way there. Eight minutes, okay. You can see in the data link just here. Strike, monitor, flashlights, weapons cold. Strike, Raven 2 1 copies, monitor, weapons cold. Alright, now we just sit and wait and see what those helicopters do. There they are. That's the two helicopters. Keep an eye on them and see what happens. This is Raven 2 2. Flashlights are approaching tabletop. They are slowing down. Strike copies. The crew still did not finish the repairs. Raven 2 1, another show of force is authorized. Alright. Raven 2 1, Roger. Show of force. Okay, let's bring it in then. Bring it down and round. Right under him rather than over him. Raven, remain on station above tabletop. Raven, two, two, roger. Nice, so the helicopters are bugging out. See the two of them there, regrouping and heading away from us, back the way they came. Right, let's calm things down and pick my bearings out again. Roger that. The crew informed us they've finished repairs. Stay with the tabletop until it leaves Waterloo Red. Let's get eyes on with the targeting pod again as I lost that. So, set. Alright, okay then. Mission complete, I guess. We are on the way home. It's our little uh, friends down here. And head on home. We've just been asked to switch to uh, green one, blue one. So green one, green one is seven. And blue one comes out as channel one. Here comes two. Alright, so let's set ourselves up for heading home. Didn't really work. Only bullets did the trick. Okay, switch marshal and stand by for check-in. Okay. Interesting. 
So I think we're good for fuel at 7,600. They won't worry about that, we'll just head on home. Let's go find out what we're doing today for our landing. So, George Washington, which is our stand-in for the Valley Forge. Marshall, 403. Marky Mops, 033. All three topic. Angels, 21. State, 5.0. Okay, so we got a case free recovery. Alright, so we've got a case free recovery. This is going to be fun. Alright, we best send our wingman off, so open the radio. Right, menu, other. And we will send Weed to the kiss off, so he'll go off and do the pattern. And off he goes. And now I've got a lovely nice case free in dusk to look forward to. So I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, well, that could have gone better. Oh, we're on the deck. Oh, really could do with some lights on deck here. Alright, so, mission complete. So, mission 4 complete. The DCS Raven 1 campaign is coming out sometime soon, and although this mission lacked any actual combat, I found it to be quite an interesting mission. I'm looking forward to playing the rest, and how this campaign ties into the books. I hope you enjoyed, and take care.